before you make a mistake that might cost you thousands of dollars, watch this. Hey YouTubies, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie Lewis, real estate broker from Royal LePage NRC. So let's just run through a few mistakes you could encounter when you're buying or thinking about buying your first home. One. Not getting a pre-approval for a mortgage. It is very tough to go shopping when you don't know how much money you can spend. So some problems you could run into is putting an offer on a house to find out that you do not qualify for it. The time that it takes for you to get approved may exceed your offer condition and you could end up losing out on the deal. Thirdly, in a competitive market, you will want to have a letter of commitment from your lender to give you a better edge. Two not using your own agent to represent you. You'll want to find a local realtor from the Niagara Association of Realtors to represent you in possibly the biggest transaction you have ever made. To find a real estate agent, you might want to check with your friends, family, check out the agents, social media, and possibly check some of their reviews. You'll want to use the professional that knows your local market will get you set up on a unique search uh, to your wants and needs and as well watch your back and keep you safe during this transaction. Three. Not getting any marketplace experience. I do not suggest buying the first house that you see at an open house. Take a Saturday afternoon with your agent and see four to six houses of different styles uh, that meet your price range criteria. This will probably help narrow down your decisions on what your wants and needs are, as well as get it to become an informed buyer when you go to make a purchase. Educated buyers make educated decisions. Four. Thinking you're going to find the perfect home. You know, this ain't no HGTV. You got to be a bit realistic on what your wants and what your needs are as far as buying your first home. Don't be fooled by too much fluffy staging and be aware of some shoddy flips. If the property has good bones, it's a great idea to try to look past that Laura Ashley uh, wallpaper, which I think might be actually coming back in style uh, and consider, you know, ripping up those old rugs and you might have some gleaming hardwood underneath. Hey, thanks for watching my video so far. And if you're liking it, please give me a thumbs up. Here's a couple photos of what my client did with her less than ideal kitchen and had it done in about two months time. Five. Waiting for the markets to go down. Well, there's been no predicting what has happened in the last year, albeit the last four years. And if you're going to try to hold out to save yourself twenty or thirty thousand dollars on what might be a three hundred or four hundred thousand dollar purchase, that's really not going to make that much difference in the long run. And looking forward, it's possible that the interest rates could go up. This is just the tip of the iceberg on some mistakes that could be made on possibly the largest transaction. So let's get you out of that rental situation into homeowner lifestyle, putting your money towards equity of your home. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below or email me at carrie at Thanks for watching. See you next time.